Hey guys, it's Paxton here, and today I am with Chase and Tiberius, and they are gonna tell us all of the steps that I need to know about becoming a falconer. So what is the first step? Step number one uh, would be finding people uh, that do falconry in your area. So you would probably find someone, go on a hunt with them, kind of be around the birds before you ever take really the first initial step into becoming a falconer. Exactly, because you really have to make a lot of changes and uh, commitments, and if that's something you're willing to do, uh, then absolutely become a falconer. But if you're not willing to or you're not in a point in your life where you can, then you definitely want to wait. So let's say someone says, you know what, I want to become a falconer. They've experienced it, they've been on the hunts, they've been around the birds. What do they do next? So what they would want to do is find a sponsor. A uh, sponsor somebody that's practiced falconry. They would be a general um, or a master, so they've had at least uh, on their third year of experience. Um, some states vary a little bit. You would find somebody that was willing to take you hunting, to spend the time with you to teach you falconry, and kind of lead you down the right path. And uh, once you found that person, then you would contact the state, tell them that you're interested in falconry, you have a sponsor, and uh, that you would like to take the falconry exam. And uh, if you pass it, which is typically at 80 percentile, you will get notified. And from that point, the state will come out and actually check out your facility. So what exactly is a facility? So the facility will be the mew or the weathering yard where you're going to keep your bird. The state has certain guidelines for those. And basically, it's there to prove that you have the adequate housing for the bird. After you get your facilities checked, what's the next step after that? Um, you would either trap a bird or you could purchase a captive bred Harris hawk, which is a bird that was raised in captivity. The majority of people will go trap a bird. They typically will either trap a red tail or a kestrel, with the red tail being the most common, which is what we have here. So after you catch your bird, uh, you'll start the manning process. You're immediately gonna put the gear on it, which would be its anklets and its jesses. Uh, of course, your leash um, to help you hang on to it. Each day, what you'll do is you'll put a little feed on your glove and see if he'll take it. From there, you wanna try to get it to hop to your glove. And what you can do is just put him on a, a block or put him on the back of the couch and put the food in front of it and try to get it to hop to you. And from there, you move from jumping to the glove to flying to the glove, maybe five feet away, and you start working that all the way back until you get somewhere between 50 and 100 feet. And then once that bird is flying to you from that distance, you can start letting the bird go and hunting with it. Once you've been a general, which is typically uh, five years experience after your two year apprenticeship, you get to become a master falconer. Pretty much that opens the door to allowing you to have a few more types of birds. You can have a greater number of birds. Kind of lets others know how many years you've dedicated to the sport of falconry. All right guys, do you want to get into falconing? I kind of do. Let us know in the comments and be sure to check out Rated Red's new Snapchat Discover channel for this awesome falconing trip. I'm Paxson Elrod.